Hey guys, it's me Cruel back again with my reaction video on this channel and today I will be reacting to sf 9s Shine Together. This is a music video that came out today and as I just learned it's for their anniversary, their 4th anniversary actually. Um, in Korea right now it's already the 6th October because um, it's, well, it's like 1am there right now when I record this. So I'm really late recording this today, it came out like 7 hours ago. But I came home like one and a half hours ago, I had to do a lot of stuff and I'm glad I can't even film this today, you know, so I hope it comes out not too too late today. And yeah, that's it. Uh, before we start with this video, as per usual, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything in the future. I upload, I upload every single day, Jesus Christ, and I do basically everything from K-pop to K-hip-hop. I also react to TV shows such as Road to Kingdom, Good Girl, Island, Enemy, K-Drama everything like that over on my Patreon. Link to my Patreon and as well as to my Discord where you can talk with me is in the description below. So yeah, I feel free to join both of them if you're interested. And um, for Patreon, for example, for the TV show reactions, you can watch episode one for every TV show that I have reacted to in, uh, in the past for free. So yeah, check it out. There's also some deleted reactions that got blocked on YouTube or something like that. Um, that are for free. But yeah, uh, before we get started, one last thing, quick shout out to my patrons for October. Thank you so much for the continued support and special shout out to Keller Man. Thank you so much. Let's get started with SF9's Shine Together. Here we go. Oh, make sure it's 180p for sure. Test. English subtitles. Okay, I wasn't sure up until today why this is called Special Album. And I'm still not sure, like, are there more songs than this one, or is it really just a song? Why is it then called Special Album, not Special Single? I would assume there's at least another song, right? Mm. Let's... Dates. Dates are always important in anniversary songs, of course. Okay, that's the, fourth, uh, the 5th October 2020, that's today. Still in Germany, by the way, so it's still as of nine day in Germany. Um, but I wonder if the other dates here have any importance too. Probably, right? There's the 27th October 2017. Not sure what that is. Hmm. Let's very beautiful voice. So this is the first time I'm watching an SF9 music video that actually is not, well, hype or somewhat like super poppy. Um, I've only watched three so far. Well, only one I've reacted to, I'm pretty sure, or maybe two. Not many, so... Uh, I don't know many SF9 songs in general, but I know like their most recent albums B-side wise and there were some um, ballads of course, so this is more ballad, but it's the first time I'm actually seeing a ballad and I feel like this has like a high production value uh, compared to their usual title tracks, but it's a ballad, so it's basically a higher quality ballad compared to the B-side ballads I would say so far, so that's really interesting and I like I like that because I really like billets. Obviously this is completely about fans and stuff like that and um, it's like the reading fan letters, the writing fan letters, they're like smiling or recording, like it all is very reminiscent of like thinking about the fans when they're doing stuff. And on the other hand, I really just um, enjoy this retro style of everything. It's really cool. Was it their first live stage or something? That they just watched there? I'll make sure to not pause too much. Oh, Polaroids. Signed Polaroids. Probably hella expensive. Repeat that. That was so nice how he like went in with his voice. Nice. 
있을 것 같아 손 잡아줄게 너의 자리까지 지금껏 나를 빛내기 위한 이 사랑이 감사해 손 잡아줄게 이제 내 자리야 아프고 지칠 땐 I wish I could read Korean we're probably missing a lot of points that they make visually in this video. Is that the logo, SF9? That they did with the posters? Oh, didn't expect the rip. Oh yeah, it seems like it's one of the first concerts. For some reason this seems familiar. But maybe I'm confusing that with something. I might have seen this though, I don't know. They're making this look very retro with the like black light and the focus and stuff. So this is pr like this is only a few years ago of course because they debuted four years ago. But um, yeah, this seems familiar to me, this shot. Um, what did I want to say too? I'm not sure if they're actually talking to fans because they're always addressing them with well the person they're talking to with girl so maybe it's talking to fans and the fan fandom as a whole is like a female person and maybe they're just assuming that most fans are female yeah, which is probably true but still I as a guy and a fan of SF9 I would not call myself like a hardcore stan or anything like that I don't even really know the member names that well but I like the music so um, again I, I would call that a fan if you don't want to call it that fan, a fan sure then don't call it a fan but I would myself call call myself a fan so I don't really feel like they're speaking to me right now even though the things they're talking about could affect me or like could be meaningful to me um, because of their addressing of girl obviously I don't really feel addressed here so I'm not sure if they're maybe just talking about something else too. <laughs> What did that say? SF9? What? Fanfare. Oh boy, that song. That was the first SF9 song that I've actually actively heard. It was so good. By the way, in the beginning, when I said that I haven't watched many SF9 music videos, I was low key trolling. I just remember that I confused. Uh, well, I, I watched a few more now that I thought about No One Never, Fanfare, for example, those two. Um, so I I thought of Astro for some reason. And with Astro I only know two or three title tracks. So sorry. Um, but it, it still holds true. I don't know a title track or a music video from SF9 that is a ballad. I think. Pretty sure. So it still holds true. I just kind of confused in my head. It's not something that I spoke out, but I still want to like make sure I'm honest with you guys so I thought of Astro for some reason in the beginning and I said that but yeah I know a few more songs on SF9 this is Chani I think it is right Is that Roar one by the way? This one? Is this Roar one? I think it is. To my best guess. I think it is. But uh, Nancy, if you're watching this, is a good friend of mine. Please don't kill me if this is not Roar one. I tried. <laughs> I think I was right about the two though. I feel like their faces are very easy to guess, but well, again, if I was wrong, then I'm just digging my hole deeper and deeper right now by saying that. But yeah. Is it over? It's like still. Serious made together with Fantasy, it's SF9 Phantom, of course. Thank you for being with us for four years. Let's chat together now and forever. So it, it obviously it's like for Fantasy, but is it really talking to them? I guess it is. Are these all the people? Oh my god, there's so many. Like, where did they get these people from? 
So let me know where this is from, like this list of people. Maybe maybe it's fan cafe actually, fan club. Yeah, maybe. That's cool. That's a lot of people. You're still a G. Holy shit. That's why the outro is so long. So many. Oh, oh, never mind. I just realized how they, they did it. Okay. They're not the G. They just have every row is like letters of some sort almost or like a few letters and they just go down that, that list. I see, I see. Was it really all of them? I guess it was, huh? With SF9. That's cool. I like that they put their name at the last. It's basically, there's a German uh, saying that you like roughly translated. It says that um, you should always name yourself last if you're like talking about something where you included. So if I say like um, there's person A, B, and C and, and myself and we're all doing like a group project together, then when I talk about this group project and the members of it, they always say like, okay, there's a person A, B, C, and me. Um, working on it not like there's work there's me and person abc working on it you know i don't know if that's also a thing in other countries but in germany it definitely is it's like kind of uh, rude and uh, disrespectful if you're like name yourself first so it's it's kind of nice to see that they named themselves last after all of the other fantasies right that's pretty cool i like that all right that was sf9 we've shined together um i mean the title itself also kind of suggests what I thought of in the beginning that it's like a fan song um, a fantasy song basically but then again the addressing of girl is kind of weird then in the song because there's not just girl fans right uh, unless they have like a statistic on the gender of all the fan club members and they're like 99.9% .9 girls and there's like one guy or something <laughs> then maybe but still kind of a bit weird um, special album special history book this special album being released on a debut day holds the meaning of its name looking back on the four years it has been running for. It reflects on the support and love of, of fantasy, the fan club that has always been a warm power and cherished their precious hearts. Like SF9, who has always listened to fantasy's opinions and constantly tried to show their best in this album, they thank fantasy through Shine Together, a fan song that is written by themselves while thinking of the fans. In particular, Fantasy also sent messages with their hearts to SF9 while preparing a special album to celebrate the 4th anniversary, and the image of SF9 looking into each message is touching to those who watch the music video of Shine Together. Oh, so they're kind of reading the letters that they that the Fantasy sent them for the 4th anniversary. I see. That's cool. That's really, really cool. I actually want to look at Spotify for a second and see if it's on Spotify, and if there's actually more songs to this special album. There is, there is. Wow, okay. So there's two more songs. There's the song Forever and the song Love Number 5. So I would assume that they're like kind of digesting a few of the probably hive mind um, opinions or like messages uh, from the actual fan club letters. I would assume so. So I think those are new songs too, right? Pretty sure. Yeah. So that's cool. I like that. I will listen to those songs uh, later on. Uh, for myself and yeah that is my ration for SF9's Shine Together that was a very cute little uh, fan song I will not name this this video um, happy SF9 day because I'm late you know it's not SF9 day anymore in career so I feel like that's kinda wrong maybe it's just my perfectionism I, I could have probably just named it happy SF9 day but for all of the people um, who are fantasies Happy as of 9 day, happy late as of 9 day because in Korea it's over now for one and a half hours at the time when I'm recording this and probably like 3 to 4 when I'm uploading this. Um, but yeah, if you're still on the 5th of October like I am in Germany here, so if you're like from Europe or something like that or other countries that still have the 5th of October, then happy as of 9 day, enjoy it and I hope you stay a fantasy and I hope you support me as well. Um, tell me your opinion about this video, about the song itself as well, and do let me know what I should check out next in the future. That's it for me, have a nice day, see you in the next one, and peace.